Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is a martial art based on grappling rather than striking. There's many different types of martial arts. There's difference between Jiu Jitsu and Judo, Jiu Jitsu and wrestling, Jiu Jitsu and Sambo. A lot of all those martial arts, they concentrate on a stand up, the takedown part. Jiu Jitsu is concentrated on the ground. Hey guys, my name is Ricardo Borio and I teach a class of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu inside the University of Central Florida. Also, I'm the head coach of the BJJ club. What a humble guy. Most people with his accomplishments, his accolades, be very uh, arrogant <laughs> and they think they're God's gift to man, but he's definitely not. I'm around with Lebo. He, uh, he was like a mini, like a, a huge teddy bear. Just off the bat, just a bubbly sense of community, you know? found jiu-jitsu through Carl and Gracie and started training at his academy in Brazil. He was awarded his black belt. He had a little more ambition, wanted to really advance the sport throughout the world. And so, in 1999, he uh, founded a Brazilian top team, of course, in Brazil. And that team organization nearly beat everyone they faced for many years in a period of time that master of the was with. 2001, he co-founded American Top Team, which most people are more familiar with. And uh, ever since then, the American uh, Top Team has just dominated the combat sports world. The BJJ club started before I come to the scene, but the club that actually was active at the time was the Mix of Martial Arts. Armand got in contact with me. We had lunch and we discussed how we can collaborate and I started actually coaching the Mix of Martial Arts club at the time. He told me to come train and I was really hesitant at first, but then I came in and I tried it and I fell in love with it. The first time you step on the mat, that's the hardest thing you'll ever do. Everything else is easy, especially at club because we just make everybody feel so welcome. And you know, we don't tolerate anybody feeling left out. So just come in and do it. When I walked in, my first thought was, what have I got myself into? There's no professor has ever been this excited. The Master Labora was there greeting everyone, and he was stoked. After a couple months of training, they feel like they have a step up, an upgrade in life. People are very shy. People are too high. People that don't have confidence. People that are feeling down when the press and anxious. Months, days before leading up to Jiu Jitsu, I just wanted to drop out of school entirely because I just didn't want to deal with the academia pressures and just deal with certain people because I felt like I was being kicked out more than being welcomed, you know, and it felt like I couldn't really be my truest self. The value that I took from my experience in Jiu Jitsu that I think is the most is understanding that you're going to lose. And it's okay to lose, it's just not okay to quit. I finally felt like, wow, I actually have a group of people that I can rely on. Wow, I actually learned how to be more confident in myself. Wow, I actually know how to advocate for myself and really be my true self and not have to apologize for it. BJJ doesn't hurt that much as people think it is. No, you don't need to be an athlete at all. Uh, there are so many special needs uh, athletes that come over and train that they have no no movements whatsoever and they actually just participate in on it. Which what you need is the desire and the will to be part of it. We have princes doing this, we have sheiks, we have males, females, people from different religions on the same mats. So the mats are uh, should be at least the most democratic thing in the world. There's so much technique just coming into the sport. But also you can take that for anything where the best things in life, you have to learn the basics and really solidify those basics hard to really just progress to the next thing. If the environment is right, if the leadership is right, you're going to feel welcome. And if you are an astronaut or if you're a janitor, it's gonna make no difference at all. Your your skills, your ability, your, your athleticism, it will make difference. Everybody can contribute in the right environment. But at the same time, you do some sort of workout together with your peers, because you cannot do it by yourself. You depend on people in jiu-jitsu to train with. Even if you don't want to train, it's okay. Come over to hang out. Come on, we're gonna find a way to, to get you involved with the club. Jiu-jitsu has helped me to like retrain my mind to calm down in situations. You know, when you're being held in a position and you're not comfortable in, I take that mentality and I take it into like when I'm having a panic attack or anxiety and it really taught me to calm myself down and refocus. It's just about each other. 
It is a group of people, mind like it, that wants to get better in life and be healthier, physically, mentally, spiritually. It's a family. It really is a family. When I, because when I first started, I thought I was just going to come in to just find a sport and maybe a secondary workout. But as time went on, I realized I actually found my own sense of family and my own sense of community with them. So like from having a bad day or I had a bad day at work, I come in and it's just like a good time and we all just goof and laugh off, especially the girls. We're a crazy bunch, so. Independently of level of skills, athleticism, knowledge of a sport, every single one is welcome. It is the mental, it is the physical, it is the spiritual healing that you take from the sport and from the community that we created that's the most important thing. UCFPJJ Club will be the best <laughs> club in, in the whole entire world. I think we're doing something that is very special, is very unique. It, it's an vanguard of anything that's happening right now on, on universities. And I think we're gonna be a model for, for the world to take. And I'm working on it to spread out what we're doing at UCF BJJ throughout all over the world. And it's happening. And it's happening here at UCF.